In this video, we introduce our next paper on training deep neural networks with 8-bit floating-point numbers. Training deep neural networks in reduced precision has been proved to be very efficient to accelerate DNN training. State-of-the-art training platforms offer 16-bit hardware, which can speed up the training by 4x compared to 32-bit systems. In this 16-bit hardware, data are represented in 16-bit, partial sum accumulation and weight update, however, are done in 32-bit. To further reduce the precision, below 16-bit has been significantly more challenging due to the need to maintain fidelity of the gradients during the backpropagation steps. In this paper, we want to keep reducing precision down to an 8-bit DNN training platform. Specifically, we aim to reduce the repetition precision from 16-bit down to 8-bit and reduce the accumulation bit and with the update down to 16-bit to further reduce the hardware area and the memory footprint. Without introducing new techniques, Reducing any of the three procedures will cause less degradation. In the following presentation, we will introduce new techniques that can fully overcome all these challenges. Here shows the beta precision setting for all the functions in the DNN training. For the labeled precision, FP8 has the format of 152, while FP16 has the format of 169. First is the 8-bit representation. It's important to find a format that can balance the representation accuracy and the dynamic range for all the popular networks. After in-depth study of the data distribution, we found that 152 works best for all the networks we tested. But there are some exceptions on the first and the last layer for larger networks. Specifically, we found that only the input image on first layer and the input softmax in last layer need to be kept in 16-bit. All other data can be safely reduced down to FP8. The second is the procedure for partial sum accumulation in dot product. 16 bit accumulation doesn't work for large networks. We found that the degradation is caused by the accumulation error, aka swamping error, which happens when a large number is added to a small number. To reduce the accumulation error, we introduce a technique called the chunk based accumulation. The idea is to divide the long dot product into small chunks. The commission are first performed within each chunk, followed by adding the intermediate result from all the chunks. By using a simple two-level chunk-based accumulation, accumulation bit precision can be reduced down to 16-bit while preserving model accuracy. The last is the precision for weight update. Similar to the accumulation, weight update also has the large number as the small number problem, since the gradients are usually much smaller than the weights. However, in this case, it's difficult to use chunking technique because gradient is accumulated into weight over many batches. Instead, we use a floating point stochastic rounding. With this technique, information loss can be fully recovered with the FP16. We apply these techniques to popular networks and the datasets. All the models tests converge to FP32 baseline with the 8-bit representation and the 6-bit accumulation and updates. With this scheme, we can achieve two to four times speed up over today's best DNN training platforms.